on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. All right, Josh, 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 would you yeah, ever be up? a help me? Would you ever be a help me? Why would I do that? That's not my purpose. That's not what I was told to do. That's I'm not just what asking. I was no, I I'm wouldn't. Just asking. No, I wouldn't. I what wouldn't. if she made more money than you? Would you be nah. a help me? Uh uh-uh. uh. You wouldn't. You wouldn't be her support. For what? Because she, she she's be... the breadwinner. She's the breadwinner. Yeah. But she she coming to me because she need masculinity. Okay, but I'm saying house. though, like, what if what if she working all day? She the breadwinner. Man, it could and... be Oprah. It could be Oprah for all I care. So you telling me Oprah gonna you gonna make Oprah cook for you? Is that what you telling me? I mean, she better cook something I like if she want to keep me in her life. <laughs> oh, I don't believe you, Josh. I don't believe you, Josh. I think you would be her help me. I think you would be her help me. What would she need me to be a help me for? She got assistance and all that other kind of stuff. So what would she need? You would be her, you would be her support system. You would be her statement, right? I, I mean, mean I'm gonna be Oprah help me. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> all right, y'all. If you guys are if you guys are just tuning in, welcome to La Peef. Let's talk. Make sure you guys get these likes up, man. Let's try to get the likes up to 1K, y'all. Get these likes up to 1K. Also, while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Moving on to our next topic, which is what keeps a man? What keeps a man? I'm very curious about this topic because, again, a lot of women, they don't know how to keep a man. In and out of relationships, they roster just up. They their numbers are up. So many mouths. They just don't know how to keep a man. What's going on? Let's talk about it. Start with you, Josh. What keeps a man? I mean, meeting his criterion. Simply put. I'm I sorry. Mean, that that's your that's your mic drop moment. <laughs> no, nah, it's not a mic drop. I'm just saying. I mean, meeting his <laughs> meeting his expectations, giving him what he wants. I mean. I don't really know how more detailed to make it. Give that man what he wants. So would you say that around. would you say that it, that a man cheats not necessarily because of what happens at home, but because of what he decides that he want to do anyway? I mean, I think that you cheat for your your own reasons. You can't blame that on somebody else. So why would you say that <laughs> that in order for a woman to keep a man is doing what he wants? I mean, you're not going to choose a woman that doesn't do what you want. But my so point is that you, you can't you can't keep you can't keep a dude that don't want to be kept is what I'm saying. I get that. But what I'm saying is that as a man, I'm speaking as I mean, if 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 I don't want to be kept, then she has no control over that. But what she does have control over is giving me, you know, what I ask for, you know, the way that, you know, I ask. What for is it. that? What is that? What do you mean for me? Yeah, 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 for you. You know, like tell me if if a woman wanted to keep you, I want you to break that down. What does that look like? I mean, just be my be my help me. I mean, be my support. You know, like uh, help me. Yeah, help me to help mate. Help mate, either oh, or, okay. same thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, basically. What? <laughs> basic, basically, my support. You know, my peace. All of that kind of stuff, you know, we don't have to get into, you know, the, you know, deepest amount of <laughs> explanation because I feel like most guys typically want the same thing. Is it that help, that help me? So you're basically saying that we all got the same mentality, right? I'm saying the things that men typically want are the things women get left for not giving them. Like what? We, we, listen, right, we we're just trying to break it okay, down for the people that's watching. To, they need to know this. They, they need yeah, to understand I'm not trying this. to debate yeah. your point. I'm trying to bring out more detail. Like, okay, give us some game. Like, right, what, say, what does it say? Co- say, um, cooperation. You got to sun us tonight, man. Come say, on. say, say, cooperation. Say, inspiration. Say that feminine energy. You know those types of things. You know, say, you okay. know, they, there's a scripture that says the guy would, or the man would rather sleep on the roof of a building than share the house with a contentious woman. So don't be okay, contentious. There you go. Okay, get so, it then. I mean, it's, it's it, like, 
I just feel like these things don't necessarily have to be explained. In the oh, they do have so to be why, explained. So why are you now? on a talk show then if you don't want to explain it? What are you talking about? I mean, about? I, I have no problem explaining. So, I mean, so a lot of women explain. ain't keeping me in out here. <laughs> these <laughs> these, women, these women single out here, Josh. Yeah, they wilding yeah. out. They lost. They confused. Yeah, Josh, Josh didn't we'll read the old books in school. He read Cliff Notes, bro. He did not <laughs> believe in. Josh does not believe in giving a full summary. He like, yo, just give me the talking points. I need to understand what the chapters are, and that's the end of the conversation. We trying to bring Ain't it out. Nobody got time for that. I get it. I mean, the thing nobody got is, time for that. <laughs> yeah, I get it. But I mean, I'm just saying, like, we 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 need to get what we want you know, from a woman in order to want to keep her in our life, in order to want to make a long-term investment in this person. Okay, I got you, Josh. Rilla, 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 Rilla. <laughs> no, no. Should I, should I start with you or should I come back? You ready? Yeah, man. Let's go. You ten toes down? Man, you know I stand on my square every day, seven ways to Sunday, dog. Don't play with me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, hey, the game is to be sold, not told. Listen, okay. man. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna do it three. I'm gonna give you this. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this way, bro. What keeps a man? I'm gonna give you three things. I'm gonna do it one thou wow. You already know. Uh, <laughs> top three things. Hey, one more time. Now, wow, now, wowzy. Hey, look, we are gonna publish that dictionary, right? We are gonna publish the real thesaurus, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with that. Shout out to E40 Rally. Um, look, man. So this is the top three things I would say. What keeps a man, right? Top three things we want: support, cooperation, and peace. Ow. If I gotta go out here, you know, I posted a video and um I'm gonna add context and I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it succinct and quick. Now listen. I posted a video in um in the Facebook group. And if y'all not in the Facebook group, go ahead and join the Facebook group. And if y'all ain't hit that like button yet, get them likes up. Now I had to get you a button, man. Say like, say punch, uh, punch something. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the video was a conversation with Nikki Giovanni and um James Baldwin. And they had this really deep, long conversation, right? But it was at one point with Nikki Giovanni. They were talking about relationships and, and the home and marriage and all that stuff. And she she told James Baldwin, lie to me. Lie to me like how you lie to the white man when you go to your job. You go to your job and, and he, he he retorted that, hey, I got to fight against the world. I got to fight this, fight that, and then come back home. And what men are saying is, when we come back home, man, I ain't trying to argue with you. I want. I need to know after I done went, I done conquered the lion, I done slayed the bear, I did all these things, fam. I need peace when I come home. Ow. Stop that. <laughs> I, need your, I need your support, right? So, 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 so it's important for me, and and you know, at I'm pretty sure you experienced this, man. When you when that deal goes wrong, or you know you didn't get that promotion at the job, or you had it out with your boss and you don't know, shoot, you might walk in and get the pink slip the next day, right? I need your support that lets me know whatever happens. Yeah, we gonna, we gonna make it through it. And when I lay this vision down for you, get dog, I need your cooperation. I don't need all that jaw jacking and slacking, man. You either on my page or you not, and that's cool. If you not, we can move, but. All it's, it's really for me, it's really simple. It's three things. This is what me and my girl talk three things support, cooperation, and peace. That's what we need. That's what's going to keep your man. Mm. I hear you, brother. I hear you. He said, I and, said what you just. He said, I don't need none of that jaw jacking and slagging. <laughs> <laughs> that was Chuck. <laughs> okay. What keeps a man? What keeps, what keeps your man? <laughs> Um, okay. I agree with Rilla about support cooperation. But, but I agree with Rilla with support. Hey, and she looked at she looked at you literally in the screen, like she looked at your box. No, <laughs> she I just looked did at your a box. look. I just did a look for effect. I wasn't looking at anything. Ooh, la, la. Um <laughs> support cooperation, peace. I would also add chemistry and loyalty to those, you know. Um, I think all of those things are very important. I think that 
um, depending on the, the people that might look different, you know what I mean? But in general, support, cooperation, peace, chemistry, loyalty. And if you all are working under and the sex. same, and sex. That's, that's under chemistry, but you know what I'm talk about that, Anton. Okay. But that's under chemistry. But anyway, support, cooperation, peace, chemistry, loyalty. Um, those things are definitely all important and they look different depending on the couple. But I think that that is basically it. Okay. Courtney, what keeps a man? <clears throat> mm -hmm. um, well, let me go about what maybe turns a man off. Um, <clears throat> just speaking from experience, I think a lot of us understand how to get them. The, the trick is that we don't know how to keep them. One thing I think that women do is uh, we bask in our insecurities. <clears throat> so women will be insecure, hence the nagging, hence the control, which turn a man completely off. I can tell you from experience that dealing with insecurities with you know other women that's younger, prettier, smarter, of course, that's going to play into insecurities. And I think a lot of people don't understand that women are insecure about a lot of stuff. So that's something that we need to definitely figure out. Um, I don't know. I think it's, once we get through that, I think what men really want, like Anton kind of said a little bit, <clears throat> um, it's three things. Uh, be peaceful. Bust it open. Bust it open. Peaceful. What Rilla said, you know, when he come home, be his peace. He got a whole lot of stuff that he got to work through outside the house. Inside the house, it be his kingdom and peaceful. If he want to play 2K, cool. If he want to watch the football game with a beer, let him do that. Be his peace. Um, feed that man. That man needs some food. He's working hard. That man needs to be filled. So peace. Fill his belly and and Bust empty. It open. Is what empty is what? Bust it open. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure I need food no more. We got DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats. <laughs> well, well, no, you do because it's high in sodium, and a good woman is going to make you a home cooked meal where it's not Panera. More energy. It sounds better. Not Panera. Panera, Panera deliver. Anton, we hear your wife in the background clinking and clinking, right, and clinking, yeah, clinking, and clinking air, on a air, regular air. basis. So stop <laughs> acting like you're ordering for that. Clinking, 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 clinking. That's true, but when she, I, I when think, she out of town, I'll be door dashing. <laughs> 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 he be cheating on the door to Asher. He be sipping it. Hi, yeah. right, Josh. I want to come to oh, you, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, they are. Thank you. Okay. okay. I, didn't, I thought you were still on. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Hold on, hold on, Josh. Feed his belly and empty the sack. And that's mm. what I'm going to do with that. Mm. All right. I heard that. Church. Church. Hmm. All right, there. Go, go ahead, Josh. Go ahead, Josh. About, I mean, <laughs> Josh, don't Josh, believe in Josh don't believe in that. Don't believe in what? <laughs> <laughs> Busting it open. Josh don't Come believe on. in that. Hey, hey, Josh. What's Real up? Real question. Is there a strand called Bust It Open? I have no idea. I have no What'd idea. What'd you say, Rilla? What was that question? Josh, you know what I asked him. I have no hey, Josh, idea. what did he ask you? He said, is there a strand called Bust It Open? I'm like, I don't know. Hello, mother. Oh, Josh, Josh, Josh. Would you yeah, ever be up? a help me? Would you ever be a help me? Why would I do that? That's not my purpose. That's not what I was told to do. That's I'm not just what asking. I was to do. No, I I'm wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I what wouldn't. if she made more money than you? Would you be nah. her me? Uh uh. You would. You wouldn't be her support. For what? Because she, she she's be... the breadwinner. She's the breadwinner. But she she coming to me because she need masculinity. Okay, but I'm saying house. though, like, what if what if she working all day? She the breadwinner. 
Man, it could and be Oprah. It could be Oprah for all I care. So you telling me Oprah gonna you gonna make Oprah cook for you? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, she better cook something I like if she want to keep me in her life. <laughs> oh, I don't believe you, Josh. I don't believe you, Josh. I think you would be her help me. I think you would be her help me. What would she need me to be a help me for? She got assistance and all that other kind of stuff. So what would she you would be her, You would be her support system. You would be her statement, right? I mean, I'm definitely going to be Oprah help me. <laughs> but I'm just saying. <laughs> I would be Oprah's help me. Oh, oh. Wait a minute now. <laughs> Oprah, if you're out there, call me. No. I'll pull up and say, I wash your clothes. I'll paint your nails. As soon as right. I get home from work. Kay, it's your I'm turn. It's your turn, Kay. Up, it's you your turn. I mean? <laughs> Come here, Kay. One time you would be Oprah's help me. <laughs> I can't. I, I wouldn't. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Nah, I, 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 I hey, definitely wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. If I had a I'm not built like that. Hold hold on. On. I think we need to define what's a what's a help made and help me. I'm not built like that, bro. Anton, 2006. What's a help me, y'all? What's a help me? 2006. You not help me. Mm-mm, I'm what's not. Because I mean, I knew. What's a help me? I knew I was coming out of that. Okay. Same thing. I knew I was coming out of that. I I knew that I can get my I can put my um that my grind was gonna carry me out of this situation, which it, it did though. But I'm I honestly I'm just gonna be honest with you, bro. It's um it's some things that I just I will never subject myself to. I will rather die first than ever put myself in a position to operate outside of exactly what it is that I'm supposed to operate. Like I am, I am 1000% purposeful. There is nothing that can ever sway me from being on that square in any way, shape or form, bro. No. And I, and I, I think I agree with you and all jokes aside, I think um, I, I appreciate you illustrating the point that, Hey, I wouldn't do it because I knew I was coming out of it. And I think that's an, I think that's one thing that women need to understand about most men. I won't say all men, but most men, um, that's all we know. Ain't nobody coming to save us. So all we know is to grind, hustle, get it out the mud until you get to the position that you want to be in. It may take, you know, two years, five years, 10 years, whatever that looks like for us. But I mean, you got you a real one, 10 toes down. He going to get it out the mud and you got to respect that. You know what? I'll say this too. I think a lot of us, <clears throat> as far as women don't understand the importance of being consistent. So how you get them, it's how you need to continuously be. So if I'm cooking for you and doing all this for you five years later and I'm telling nine doing it, you're going somewhere, <clears throat> that's a turn off. So then we don't talk about consistency and that's really, really big and key on me as far as even throughout my life and every aspect of my life is consistency. What I started is how I'm going to finish it continuously to do the same things of what you got into it is how you're going to finish it continue to do so consistency i think is completely important which i think in relationships sometimes that stuff fall back you get tired you've got other things <clears throat> you don't look at him the same you might not look at her the same way <clears throat> but the consistency and also making sure the stuff is still new try new stuff have a list of stuff that you ain't never did before <clears throat> this year, let's do this. Next year, let's do that. Make it fresh and new. So, there's a lot of ways I think that we can keep a man, if, but it's effort. And I think a lot of times we, we look at it like, you know, relationships are so, you got to work for it, work for it. Well, the work for it is pro-working, not, you know, not doing after the fact. Working is, I'm going to proactively work for you. I'm going to proactively make sure that you're taking care of and it's consistent. So I think that's not necessarily being told. I got a question. I'm not, I'm not sure that I could ever even think from the perspective of what it would take to keep me. Like, I can't even think like that. It's impossible. It's impossible because like for me, it's like, I'm, I am what I am. Like I'm going to be there. Once I made the commitment, once I said I do, once I gave my vows before God, once I said till death do his part, that's the end of the conversation. So it's not whether or not for me as, as a man, I, I can never look at that specific question from a woman's perspective and answer that because it's not whether or not 
you know, you could do what you need to do to keep me is whether or not I'm going to ensure that my will is imposed as to whether or not we going to you know, be what we supposed to be based off of how I live my life. The, the, how our relationship is going to go is, is determined off of me, not off of them. So, I, I mean, I'm there. I'm, I'm never leaving. It ain't no such thing as divorce. I don't believe in it. Now, wait a minute, Anton. It's no such thing as divorce. The uh, only thing, no. the only, okay, the you, only, you the only, the down, only reason, wait a minute, the only, re- the no, only no. way, the only way that I'll ever get divorced <laughs> is if a person says they don't want to be there because I don't believe in holding anybody against their will. But divorce is not an option ever. No, I, I understand that. Man. I agree with that. That's so, what you need to do. Anton, Anton, you 17 years in and we're talking about, um, you know, what it takes to keep a man. And you just, you know, um, talked about like, man, I, you know, I don't even know what to think about from that perspective. So can you share like for the rest of the artists? Because I'm, I'm, I'm divorced, so clearly she couldn't keep me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, what in those 17 years, you know, and lately, I think you've been, you know, documenting your journey for like last six years or whatever. And um, some of us can see it, and, and, and those who don't see it, I'd encourage you to watch it. But what are some of the things that y'all do to keep it fresh and new? Because you're not the same person at 39 that you were at 22 when y'all got married. So what are the things that you guys do to keep the relationship fresh and new? We, well, number one, I call her my chick. A lot of people don't like that, but we don't care. We actually embrace the fact that people don't like it because it puts me in the mindset like I'm dating, right? Number two, we embrace wherever we are in that space. And and the interesting thing about my, my, my marriage is that we're complete opposites. The things that I like. It's completely, I mean, from food to how we want to travel to how we interact with people or whatever. But the most important thing and the reason why it works so successfully is because we embrace the things that are awesome about each other. And we probably focus less than 1% of our energy on anything that we that's different or negative about each other. We spend overwhelming majority of our time focusing on things that's great about each other. We don't, we don't. We don't, I don't care if she's not good at something, then I'm going to just focus on the thing that she is good at and I'm going to just embrace that. So I don't focus any of my time at all on anything that she doesn't do that I don't really care for. I'm just embracing the stuff that's awesome about her. And it's no plan B. I don't, I never even considered a possibility. So everything that I put into, like, like, let's just say, for example, the whole side chick situation, any energy and time that I would put into a side chick goes into my chick like she gonna get all of that any relationship building nurturing if i got time to talk to this chick on the phone i got more time to talk to my own chick on the phone so you know i just put all that i have any extra that i would dedicate or allocate to anybody else it just goes into what i already got i'd rather build what i got than than be looking at anything outside of that i'm straight on that bro And when you have that mindset, Anton, that is how, when you look at it, like I have no plan B, that is Mm -hmm. how you continue to be successful in certain situations. Like I have that mindset about a bunch of things, which is why I've avoided certain situations because there is no option to do that thing. So I absolutely respect that about you. You know, Mm -hmm. I love your wife. Um, I, 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 you know what? I, I love it. I, mm-hmm. I'm in line with what you're saying, Anton. And same here, Anton. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Um, because I know you talk, especially even on your after hours, right? Yep. Um, about marriage, but you know what you're saying, honestly, is not popular. In Unfortunately, right. Why? Why is it that men don't understand that if you, you know, and God spoke about this, a man that has a a good wife, I mean, blessings unfold. Like, why is it? Because it's easier. It's easier to retreat. Like, it's always easier to lose than it is to win. Winning is hard. Like in anything, if you're going to get to the top of anything that you ever do, 
And I even when it comes to, to your marriage, winning is always going to be much more difficult than it is to than it is to mm -hmm. lose. Be and the reason why losing is easy is because everybody else, everybody is doing it. The majority of people are losers. Yeah. The majority of people yeah. are unsuccessful in their attempts because there can only be one winner. You know what I'm saying? So when you have that winning mindset, there is no alternative to losing. Like I and am there's going a to much get there bigger crowd moment. to support you yeah. when you're losing. Yeah, well, like when, when, when you lose, when you yeah. fail, it's like, oh, everybody go through it. Yeah, you, yeah. You, you ever been in a class? You ever been in a class oh. and then somebody is satisfied with the fact that I mean, everybody, I hate it when my daughter, when my daughter was younger and she used to come to me and say, I mean, everybody got to be. Nah, never, ever. Like you, we win. We don't ever put ourselves in a position to settle for what everybody yeah. else is doing. Winners win and losers lose. So it's easy for people to fall into that loser's mentality. But I'm, I'm, I'm pushing people and I'm training people to say, yo, you, we don't lose. We don't have that. We don't even take that into consideration. Plan B is to complete plan A or die trying. Yeah. That's it. It's the end of the conversation. Okay. Well, I, well, I appreciate you. I think you I have. Rock with you know I rock with y'all. Just, just randomly, I just want to say, like, I think that you, your perspective is a little different than a lot of what we hear. And even JR is a little different. And um, What? Or maybe I appreciate it. Maybe you don't believe me. I don't know, JR. But, but I, I do. And so I thank you for that. So. No, yeah. your perspective is straight. Said it, said it, said it. 